Stage reset. I believe we are finished our stage reset. Okay, everyone, it's time once again to play everybody's favorite game show, Ken Jennings versus Joe Cochran. As always, is your stalwart scorekeeper, John Roderick. Slowly working his way down the aisle as if he has just won one of the lesser Academy Awards when they sit further back. Congratulations to makeup <laughs> Oscar winner, John Roderick. Your scorekeeping tool, sir. Let's welcome tonight's guest on Ken Jennings vs. Joko Cruz. Please welcome your contestant, Ken Jennings! We're really excited to be here. <laughs> Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself, Ken? Well, I've, I've been a longtime fan of Ken Jennings vs. Joko Cruz. <laughs> So I'm excited to finally make it on the show, Paul. My name's Ken. Uh, I come from Seattle, Washington. Uh, um, where I live with my uh, lovely wife, Mindy. Love you, Mindy, and my two kids. And I'm excited to play our game. All right, any, uh, any other little interesting facts that, I don't know, something neat that may have happened to you recently that might be of relevance to the setting? Oh, in January, I won the Jeopardy Greatest of All Time tournament and a million dollar prize. Oh, stop. Thank you. Well, that's good for you because that title is what's on the line tonight <laughs> as you battle the entire Red Team audience for the title of Greatest of All Time Jeopardy Champion. And so there's hundreds of people here. I would have to literally beat 800 plus people to retain my trophy. That is correct. You ever seen where, like, a chess grandmaster plays a whole bunch of people at once? Do I have to run around the audience with a clock playing everybody at Jeopardy? Uh, one Only one? if you want to. Yes! I am confident that I'm going to win this ball, unless the rules are comically exaggerated to somehow handicap me in some funny way. <laughs> Gee, that sure would be a shame if that were to happen, though probably quite entertaining. Which we don't want to see anything like that, right? <laughs> Alright, you all know how the game is played, but just as a reminder for our folks watching at home, I will present a series of ten questions. The question will go on the screen. Ken will attempt to answer that question. At that point, I will project three multiple choice options for the audience to vote on by their applause. If Ken guesses correctly, he receives two points. If the audience guesses correctly, they receive one point. Just to be clear, they've already heard me answer. That is 100% correct. <laughs> and I don't get any choices. I just have to say a thing. You get no props beside a question. It's you versus trivia. <laughs> For all the marbles, are you ready to play Ken Jennings versus Joko Cruz? I'm gonna give it a shot. If I say no, I don't know who you get. I'm gonna give it a shot. John Roderick, do you have any predictions for tonight's game? I feel like it's gonna be close. <laughs> the audience does get to choose from multiple choice. Three choices. This is true. true. One of which is Always probably going to be a comedy choice. <laughs> well, an attempted comedy choice, probably, but yes. Ken's pretty smart, though. He is, apparently. But keep, keep in mind that intelligence is not cumulative. You know, yeah. these people are not 900 times smarter than one of them because some of them could be just yelling out dumb answers and, keep it, and keeping the rest of the team... I like how everyone knows who... That's my job! <laughs> apparently you're familiar with the red team, Ken. and one team that has it. it it's, it's, really, it's really funny how close any group of people is to fascism. <laughs> just, like, just a hair's breadth away. <laughs> just one greatest of all time award away. <laughs> one million dollar prize between you and absolute dictatorship. <laughs> Wait, I have to distribute my prize also, 800 ways? You give them a, a $50 state room credit and they go mad with power. Absolutely. 
your goat trophy too is on the line. Oh, yes, I have a facsimile of the goat he's trophy. Hastily here. drawn goat trophy. <laughs> goat trophy. They were real good at Coachella last year. <laughs> I like their early stuff. Let's play Ken Jennings versus Joko Cruz. I don't believe I numbered these questions, so let's see if I don't forget that there's ten. First question, what percentage of all movies are rated R? <laughs> uh-huh, uh -huh, that was not on purpose, but thank you for filling in that blank. We might lose. So I just have to say a number as if this is a thing I know because I've studied it. You're so fucking smart! <laughs> At least Alex Trebek seems to think so. I am going to say that 29% of all movies are rated R. 29%. Final answer. Audience, here are your choices. What percentage of all movies are rated R? Is it A, 34%? B, 42%, or C, 55%. No comedy here, just straight up trivia. Do you believe, but not, wait, wait, I said vote by applause, not by yelling out letters. <laughs> Do you believe the correct answer is A? <laughs> or is the correct answer B? <laughs> or is the correct answer C? <laughs> Pretty clearly, A took the day. Audience's choice is A. The correct answer is C, 55%. That's also incorrect because it's actually 42. I screwed up with the arrow. <laughs> yeah, we all learned a lot. So with that mess up, one point to each of you. There's a lot of muttering going on. I like that you were I like that you were honest about it though. You didn't have to admit that. Nobody's gonna we're not gonna go look it up. You obviously are not familiar with the red team. There are already several several angry emails in my inbox. Question number two. The moon is what percent the size of the earth? Size? No prompting from the audience. But like mass or what are we even like diameter? Side. I don't know. Percent. Volume. Volume. Percent. Uh, percent. In, in a, uh, I don't know. In personality. <laughs> Just name a goddamn number, Ken Jennings. Population. <laughs> the moon is. I believe it's by, by size. <laughs> Volume or okay. Uh, <laughs> it's what no, it's my alcohol content. <laughs> I, what did, I, did I say 29 last time? Here we go again. 29 percent the size of Earth. 29 percent is the choice. All right, audience. Your options are A, 22 percent, B, 27 percent, or C, 31 percent. <laughs> Tough, but no cigar, Ken Jennings. <laughs> audience, is the answer A? C. I'm gonna need to hear A and B both. Okay. Alright, one more time. Do you select A? Or do you select B? Really close. I'm gonna say B. You're gonna say B? I'm gonna say B. Therefore, the answer to this question, based off of the random trivia website that I looked up with no sourcing, the answer is B! Can I, can, I, can I just point out that I was 2% off with no prompts? <laughs> well, what Paul didn't explain is that he's just going to award whatever he wants. <laughs> my show, my rules. Question number three. What percentage of cabbage is in water? <laughs> I'm sensing a theme running here. Cabbage is... 86% water. Final answer. Final answer, 86%. Audience, is the correct answer 79%, 91%, <laughs> or 107%? Finally, a funny number. <laughs> How many of you look for A? Or answer number C? The correct answer is B, 91%. One more point for the audience, zero for Ken. <laughs> it's like, what was I after?
there, like 5%? Hey, you know what happens when they're off by 5% trying to land on the moon? <laughs> I thought Alex Trebek was me. He's just kind of catty compared to you. <laughs> well, he's Canadian. <laughs> Alright, question number next. How many dust mites does the average bed contain? <laughs> Uh, Everyone knows this one, Ken. Come on. Yeah. On which deck? The <laughs> local reference from Ken Jennings. Uh, the average bed, as every American school child knows, contains. Uh, well, uh, 1.3 million dust mites. 1.3 million, final answer, audience, is the correct answer. A, 60 million. <laughs> B, 600 million. Or C, 6 billion. <laughs> How many vote for answer? Answer A. <laughs> How many vote for B? <laughs> How many vote for C? <laughs> Sounds like me to me. Minute, I want to know, why is there so much confidence about this? <laughs> This audience really feels secure in this knowledge. Oh, there's no way it's only 60 million. There's no way it's a six whole billion dust mites, could it be? Right, As a matter of fact, the correct answer is C, six billion. <laughs> the internet says so, no points awarded. Next question, which US state has the second oldest city in the nation? He's actually gonna know this. I don't think I did. Florida's the oldest. Uh, wow. Santa Fe's the oldest state capital, but maybe there's something on the East Coast older? One might think. <laughs> I will say... Uh, That's not a city. <laughs> I'll say New Mexico. Oh. New Mexico. Okay. Audience is the correct answer. New York, Georgia, or Virginia. None of which, we will point out, is New Mexico. <laughs> How many believe the answer is A? A lot of people hate New York. How many think the answer is B? And how many people think the answer is C? You're all dumb, the answer is B. Sometimes it's not the obvious choice. What if this show was called, You're All Dumb? <laughs> Again, this is this random internet trivia site. What? There is no more... For, you know what? I didn't write down the actual answers. <laughs> of what city? I don't know. The site had a thing. Is it Savannah? It is Savannah. I don't know. Actually, I don't think it was Savannah, but I don't remember the actual name. Well, Moving on, first. because this doesn't actually mean shit anyway. <laughs> well... This, uh, this happened a couple of times inherently in the first show. We thought it only fair you get at least one of these. <laughs> Which U.S. state grows the most sunflowers? Yeah, guys? I know this one. I'm gonna go see. <laughs> fair enough. I'll accept it. Audience, is the correct answer? A. Kansas. B. Texas. Or C. North Dakota. Is it A? I love you for being contrarian. Is it B? Or is it C, North Dakota? It's C, North Dakota! Two points for Ken, one point for the audience. Finally on the board. Next question. How much do Americans spend per day on potato chips in U.S. dollars? Per cap, per American? Per Amer- uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's cumulatively. Although, when you see these answers, if you said per American, it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, 300 million people, you gotta spend a, a dollar a day, I don't, I don't know, like, 250 million dollars. Final answer, 250 million dollars, audience, is the correct answer A, 6 million, B, 10 million, or C, I want potato chips right now. <laughs> You'll get 
your chance to answer. <laughs> is the correct answer A? <laughs> is the correct answer B? <laughs> or is the correct answer C? <laughs> While the correct answer is B, 10 million, C is also technically correct. Point to the audience. Next question. Over their lifespan, how long would the average work, how long will, excuse me, the average person spend waiting for red traffic lights? Red tea, 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 It's uh, uh, about 3,000 hours. He's right, Baltimore's got all them lights. <laughs> You're famous for it. So what was that? What was that? I don't remember. 3,000 3, 3, hours? I wonder what that converts to in months. Is the correct answer? Two months, six months, or effing forever? <laughs> who, who can do the calculation fast? 3,000 hours is how many months? Nine or ten was the... 525,600 minutes. You're good at this. How many? I don't know. It looks like I was too high. Though. About four months. Four, four months. months. Four months. Four months. Four All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is the correct answer A? Two months. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this one may go. You guys still playing this game? Is the correct answer B? Six months. <laughs> Bearing in mind that you're not going to get the same gift that you did on the last question, is the correct answer C, a fucking forever? Is everyone here from Baltimore, Maryland? <laughs> they threw away a gift, the correct answer is B, six months. <laughs> Next question. To what depth can sunlight penetrate clean ocean water? In feet. In feet. Uh... I don't even... Uh, th uh, 30 feet. Oh, God. Have you ever been in an ocean? <laughs> Is it less or more? <laughs> I, guess, I guess if you're in clean Baltimore ocean water, 30 feet is about correct. <laughs> Audience, is the correct answer. 240 feet. 420 feet blazing. Or to the roof of their house of Arulia, where dead people are white screaming. Nerd reference. Is the correct answer A, 240 feet? Oh, you forget there are a lot of oceanographers in this room. This is true. <laughs> it's the correct answer B, 420 feet. This is my matrix, too. Uh, or is the correct answer C, to the roof of the house of Arulia, where dead people are white screaming? Shut up! You weren't there! If you were there, your mind would have exploded and you'd have been turned inside out. I think it was A. I think the audience chose A. You think, did the audience choose A, 240 feet? Alright, the correct answer is B, 420 feet. So there, wise asses. Better than that. Actually, I think it is 240 feet. I think that arrow is wrong too. But moving on! were in the first telephone book in 1878. All of them. All of them is not a accepted answer. <laughs> there, there were... Uh, Alexander Graham Bell's day planner. <laughs> there were 20, 26 names. 26 names is the guess. Well, what's our score right now? Because I think this might be our last question. Uh, Ken Jennings has three... And the audience has five. So, Ken, if you get this answer right and the audience gets it wrong, it's a tie game. You don't have to get it. Other way around. Oh, yeah, I'm down. All right, well, let's see, audience. Is it A, two names, B, 50 names, or C, just Ken's mom? You take a free cruise ticket from somebody, yeah. and he just thinks he has license. I, I was just feeling needlessly antagonistic when I wrote this question. <laughs> Audience, is the correct answer A? <laughs> or is the correct answer B? <laughs> Obviously it's not C, we're not going to vote on it. The correct answer is B. <laughs> Tally him up, John. The 
Yeah. Ken got three and the audience got six. Congratulations, Joe Pepperoni. You're the winners of this week's edition of Ken Kennedy versus Joe Pepperoni. You're the Jeopardy greatest of all time. Vivisect my trophy into 800 pieces for you people. <laughs> Thank you very much for playing. Uh, John and Rex suits are provided by Botany 500. <laughs> Thus ends Ken Jennings versus Joe Cruz. Thank you very much. Yeah.